How does an object-oriented programmer get rich? As you'll learn in this video, through inheritance. Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Java 101. <clears throat> in this episode, we are going to get a basic introduction into inheritance or polymorphism. If you have not watched all of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do, because this is where things start getting challenging, and you might have trouble keeping up if you don't already know how to do all the stuff that I've already explained. In object-oriented programming languages, polymorphism or inheritance is the property by which classes can inherit methods or fields or constructors from other classes. If that doesn't make sense, it'll make sense in just a minute. As you can see, I have the player class open. It contains a name, health, and money, as long as some methods. What we're going to do is we're going to create a, an entity class, which represents an entity, and then we're going to use that for the player class, and then we're also going to create a monster class to go along with the RPG, when you go off into the woods, you might end up fighting a monster, and then uh, we will have a class for that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is right-click on your package and make a new class, and we're going to call this Entity. Now, this Entity class is going to contain, for now, the health, method for getting health, and method for setting health. And then we can also take these modify health methods. Um, or there's only one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these from the player. So they're going to have a private int health. Uh, get rid of that. We're go they're going to have a, we're going to have get health and set health and modify health. And then let's just clean up the spacing. So basically what I've just done is I've removed the uh, health property from player and I've put it into this entity class. The reason why we're doing this is because when we go to make the monster class, all entities are going to have health, but only a player will have a name and money. Excuse me. The monster might also have other information in it, like maybe how powerful it is, but um, what they share in common is their health. So now what we're going to do is, as you can see in the main, we get some errors because the get, get health and set health and modify health uh, have been removed from the player class. But we're going to use inheritance to fix this. Over in player, right after the word player, you're going to write extends entity and save that. You'll now notice that all of the errors went away. Now why is this and what exactly does this extends keyword mean? What I'm doing here is I'm telling this class called player that it, it, that is, that it extends entity. This is inheritance. Now that it extends entity, it automatically inherits get health set health, modify health, and then this integer called health. So, even though it's not explicitly defined in here, over here, get health, you can see, is of, get health is contained in entity, but since player is an instance of entity, it extends entity and it inherits everything from entity, that it also inherits the get health method. The one important thing that we need to do is we also need to call set health and 10. Now, notice that I'm calling set health 10, but it's nowhere listed in here. Because player extends entity, it inherits the set health method, and I can call set health as if it existed in the player class, even though it already even though it is not here, it's inherited. So as you can see, everything now works in here. And if that didn't make sense already, let's go ahead and make the monster class. And maybe this will make a little bit more sense. So we're going to go ahead and call this monster. And this monster is going to extend entity. So already, just by writing extends entity, it already inherits get health, set health, and modify health. So... We need to go ahead and make the constructor 
public monster. And then we're going to call set health, and the monster is only going to have five because, you know, we need to make it easy. Now, eventually, you know, you could add in that it's randomly generated or it's generated based on the level, but, um, we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to add a private int level, and we're going to take the level in the constructor, and we're going to set it to the health to level. So a level 1 monster would only have one health, or we can make it easier and multiply it by two. So a level one monster would have two health, a level two monster would have four health, and so on and so forth. You can tweak that as you wish. And again, set health comes from entity, which is called the super class, or the class above it. This is, again, just a basic introduction. There's so much more you can do with this, but um, it's, you know, it, it, this is just an introduction. And we're going to have a get level method. Um, we we don't want to have a set level method because um, we we're not going to ever change the level. Once the monster exists, we're only ever going to get the level, which we might not even do. But we'll put that in there just in case. Now, just to show you a couple of tricks that you can do with this, and if this part confuses you, don't worry about it. But, if I want to instantiate a monster, let's go to here. And then let's just go ahead and we can say monster m equals new monster, and we'll make it a level 1 monster. Now, if I type m dot, and you'll see everything that pops up, you'll notice that get health, modify health, set health automatically show up because of inheritance. And you'll see that next to it, it says dash and then entity because this method came from entity. Get level came from monster. That's declared in the class. This came from entity. And then all these weird methods that you might not know, like get class equals hash code, all of those methods are from object, which you'll learn about in a future video um, that also has to do with inheritance. But as you can see, it inherits methods from all of its superclasses. Now, one more thing that would blow that might blow your mind is that. Notice how I called entity M equals new monster. And notice how I didn't get any errors. The reason why I the reason why this works is because monster is an instance of entity and by 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 making the type of m entity i am doing what's called downcasting what i'm saying is i'm instantiating it as a monster which uses the um constructor in monster but i'm actually it uses the constructor in monster but it's actually of type entity so if i do m dot You'll notice that I still see get health, modify health, and set health, but the get level method is not there. That's because this is treated as an entity, and entity doesn't contain get level, only monster contains it. If any part of this video confused you, um, don't worry about it. Uh, in future videos, we'll go farther into this, and if it just hasn't clicked for you, then a future video will definitely have it make more sense. Uh, we're going to get... Inheritance is, I think, one of the coolest things of object-oriented programming, and I like... I love making uh, videos or, you know, just using it in general, so I'm going to show you how you can use it, because it is infinitely helpful in keeping your code neat and organized, and that this is not the last video of Inheritance by far. So, that is all for this video, just an introduction into inheritance as always subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn if you like this video click the like button and i will see you guys soon bye guys